would consider myself a pretty good reader. I never detested it in schools. I have above average reading speed right now. But uh, recently, the Snoot Game Wani Rabbit Hole has developed into a whirlpool. And it has dragged me down deeper into the cringe. All right, we're talking band fix. That's where that's where it's taken me. I was I was not expecting them to be this good. A lot of them were pretty good. Let's start with my the one that I did not like. All right, consolation. Post ending one. 125,211 words. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Doesn't feel like there's worthy character growth. That There's a character there that just like literally doesn't do a whole lot. It, it, like it skips, it speeds run character development. And it's just crazy I it's just it's like reading a short bullet list of points of a story with extra fluff in between to make it look like a story All right, as for the second one I want to go over a uh, bad apple Ending one, again, uh, 1,049, or 149,646 words. Life paths, they make sense. Story choices, they make sense. Within the context of the story, of course. Yeah, that's really it on that one. It was good. Go read it. I don't want to spoil too much for it. Alright, now on to a bigger one. Uh, these, these are like the fucking Izayaki ones. Fucking nothing to something and I want to be the gator. I, I paired this, these two, and then another two. Because it's like, oh, they're related somewhat. Uh, neither of them are done, but the way that it's written works surprisingly well. To be honest, the beginning kind of sucks. They're still getting updated from what is to be believed. Yep. Next, we have uh, Inco Noted, the original and the sequel. Once again, E1. A lot of words, uh, a lot of words. Weirdly enough, the sequel is longer by about 20,000 words. But uh, the first one is uh, E1, where instead of him almost killing Olivia, he's like, nah, I can't be doing that. And he saves her. But uh oh, not good, not very good stuff average. Anyways, he goes and forgives. And the second one, a uh, future family follows his kid. Uh, child is colorblind, going to art school, fully colorblind, so things don't work out that well. Basically, building confidence, learning to talk with people. That's what that one's about. Yep. And then we have one that isn't. Isn't E1, but still, there are so many of these. And they all are like the same, but they're all different. It's fucking a better end, right? Only six, only uh, 60,000 words. But it's not complete. But from what is complete, it has great potential. It's really hard to talk about these without just completely spoiling it, and I don't want to do that. It's hard to describe how good writing is without you going and reading it. So, 
So that, that's the only thing I can do. Just go read these. Use it as recommendations. One of the biggest things I care about is do the choices in the story. Follow from the game. And does it make sense within the game, within the story? And then my favorite one. I'm not sure if it's because it's the first one or what. Or no, it wasn't the first one. But it was my favorite just because of how well it was written. It is also the longest on this list. Uh, it's Bonds. It's a E3, which like, thank God, don't have to deal with you depressing motherfuckers. But it's 182,000 words. Yeah, like, alright. I, I'm, I am going to spoil this one, so here's the, here's like the warning. This is major spoilers. Ba basically, just go read it if you want to read it. If not, then continue. So, E1, right? Let's fucking speedrun this shit. A couple months, this is like a month or two after he gets back from the army. They got a whole ass house. They're doing their thing. And uh, he, and I'm going to therapy, right? He's going to therapy. And through this therapy, he realizes like, damn, there's something missing with my wife. So let's try and fix that without forcing her to fix it. And so he does that. He tries to get her to be more outward going and all that. Really, that leads them to going to meet Reed and Trish because now they're married. Whoa, lore drop. But uh, after that, uh, Lucy freaks out like, "Oh shit!" and accidentally overdoses on oh, way too many antidepressants. And then, like, fucking four chapters later, she wakes up. A little bit of therapy later, all all's good. Uh, they go towards working at it. Things work out. Yep, it's awesome. Horrible, horrible summary, but it that's horrible, horrible gist of it. But yeah, that's really all. Uh, it surprises me just how good this community is. With things like this, where do you, like did you find some talent fountain of youth type thing? Where where because I don't have these things, I have actual talent and I'm jealous. Anyways, yeah, that's it. Uh, big project coming up after this one. All you all you uh, snoo bros, look out for it on the Discord. On the Reddit, probably the big project that you will be involved in, and it will be another video. But that video is like a month out. That's how big this project is. But uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that. And uh, music time. <laughs> God damn it! Uh -oh. What's he doing? Uh -oh. What is he doing? No, 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 stop it! <laughs> Burning paper, I'm another bag, make it suck as me.